you, what is up everybody, Chuck here, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. We're gonna be counting down the top 10 rare sightings of the week. But first things first, there has been a huge update in Pokemon Go today. That's right, minor text fixes. Thank you, Niantic. It's not like any of us are waiting on anything important. Now onto the video, and let's kick this one off with something a little bit different. An honorable mention right here to Alec, and you're gonna notice that there's only one Pokemon in this sighting, and it's not a good Pokemon at all, but this sighting will still make you drool. Alex found one Staryu and eight bajillion Pokestops with lures. Now, if any of you guys actually wanna go through the picture and count the number of lured Pokestops, feel free. I'm not gonna do it. On to the top 10. Let's kick this countdown off with a sighting in the wild sent in by Colby on Instagram. He found a Staryu, Starmie, Seedra, and a Tangela, but that's not all. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, there were two Tangelas on the nearby list. Now, I'm pretty sure Tangela nests don't actually exist in Pokemon Go, so to find two of them in the wild is very impressive. Colby, well done. Let's keep it moving. Now, in at number nine, we've got a sighting sent in by John, and basically any sighting sent in featuring this one Pokemon is pretty impressive to me. As long as there are some other cool Pokemon along with it, it's gonna make the countdown, and this one definitely made the countdown. John found a Machoke, a Dratini, an Electabuzz, and a Lapras. And Lapras is by far the hardest Pokemon to find in the wild in Pokemon Go, so John, I really hope you caught that Lapras, unlike some people. Now, in at number eight, we've got a 13 Pokemon cluster spawn sent in by Alex. And normally when I find a cluster spawn, and when most of you find one, it's got five Rattatas, three Venonats, eight Pidgeys, and 17 Weedles. Okay, that's what we have to deal with. This is what Alex got. Three Poliwags, two Executes, three Tauros, a Pinsir, a Grimer, and a Starmie. Now, at first glance, I thought that the Grimer was a Muck, so I originally had this sighting way higher up in the countdown. However, it's still a Grimer, still hard to find in the wild, so very well done, Alex. Moving on. In at number seven, we've got a sighting from Joey, and this week, Joey definitely got his fossil on. He ran into an Arbok, a Kabutops, and an Aerodactyl. Now, there were only three cool Pokemon in this sighting. However, to find a Kabutops and an Aerodactyl at the same time is impressive in itself. So, Joey, very well done. Moving on. Now, what's truly impressive about the next sighting is not the fact that it features a bunch of really good Pokemon, but it doesn't feature any shitty Pokemon. I mean, how lucky can you be? Austin found a Bellsprout, Charmander, two Magikarp, three Scyther, a Dratini, and a Gyarados. And no Rattatas, you lucky mother. Now, moving on to the top five, and to be completely honest, all five of these sightings could have been number one. So if you disagree with the order that I put these in, let me know in the comment section below. Say, hey, truck. I disagree with you. But in at number five, we've got Sanu, who had a crazy cluster spawn, a Jigglypuff, a Clefairy, a Charizard, and an Aerodactyl. I get excited if I see just a Jigglypuff and a Clefairy next to each other. If I saw all four of these Pokemon, I can guarantee you a liquid will come out of my body. I just don't know which hole. Moving on to number four, and here we've got a throwback to the starter event. Now, I'm pretty sure that's when this happened, and you're about to see why, but it features a bunch of crazy Pokemon. Sent in by Svetlin, hopefully I got that right, an Electabuzz, a Poliwhirl, an Ivysaur, a Charmeleon, and a Flareon. Now, when the game first came out, I saw so many evolved forms of Eevee. However, in the past couple months, I've seen probably two. So to see a wild Flareon in addition to some evolved starters and a Poliwhirl, and an Electabuzz, very well done. Hopefully I got your name right, moving on. Now at number three, I'm sure some of you guys remember last week's episode where I made the claim that I had never seen two particular Pokemon in the same sighting together. Well, last week was the first time, and this is the second time. Justin saw one, two Onyx, a Tangela, a Porygon, and a Starmie. And I'm pretty sure this week sets a record for most Starmie sightings we've ever featured. But once again, a Porygon and a Tangela together in the same sighting. And apparently they like to travel in pairs, which would explain why I've seen exactly zero Tangela in the wild. Moving on to number two. Now there really aren't words for me to describe how epic this sighting is, so uh, here you go. A Bulbasaur, a Pikachu, Tauros, Electabuzz, Jinx, Gengar and Venusaur. Now, once again, I would assume that this was during the starter event. However, even with the event going on, finding a Venusaur was not easy. But in addition to a Venusaur, a Tauros, an Electabuzz, a Jinx, and a Gengar. That's incredible. So, Anthony, very well done. Congratulations on number two. And at number one, we need a drum roll. Everybody, everybody drum roll. These Pokemon together in any sighting automatically takes number one. It's never not been number one on these countdowns, and that is a fact that I cannot prove, but I'm pretty sure it's true. Dalton takes the number one spot this week with a Metapod and a Paris. Dalton, very well done. Congratulations on number one. Um, I see you also had a couple annoying Pokemon like a Lapras and a Dragonite. 
Uh, hopefully you didn't waste a Pokeball on those two. They're useless. Congratulations, everybody who made the countdown. You guys make all of this possible. So thank you very much for sending in all of your sightings. Remember, you can send them in on Twitter or Instagram. Links are in the description of this video. Once again, make sure you have notifications turned on for all of my uploads. That way you'll never miss anything. I love you all. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Take it easy. Bye.